Dobri dan. Now, I'm quite shy about kissing uh, for two reasons, both of which are based on probability. Now, the first reason is a sad story. I have a neck injury, which means I can move my neck this far to the left, but only this far to the right, which means the probability of me avoiding a nose-to-nose -nose collision is only about 50%. <laughs> so that's sort of a, a, a disease of probability. But the second reason is because of cancer. And again, that is a disease of probability, because cancer occurs when your body's cells grow out of control and form a tumor mass. And of course, the control mechanism is embedded within your DNA. If there's some alteration to it through damage or mutation, cancer can occur. But what has that got to do with kissing? Well, there's a virus known as the Epstein-Barr virus, and that's spread through saliva. And it infects an area of the body known as the nasopharynx. So you know when you laugh and rice comes out of your nose? It's the area where rice passes from your mouth to your nose. That is the nasopharynx. And it infects this area, and it can enter the cells directly and affect the DNA. But there's a more subtle mechanism. As it infects the area, it kills the cells, and we must reproduce the cells. And every time we do, there's a small but finite chance that there's an error in the copying of the DNA. And if that error occurs within the control mechanism, the result is a cancer. Now, for people from South China, we actually have a 25 times higher risk than any other country in the world of developing this particular cancer from that particular virus, which means that when you say, because I'm worth it. I'm actually doing the calculation, and it's quite a tricky one. I can try and use some dating-friendly devices. For example, I can carry around a nasal swab, do a little test on my dates, and I can take this result and put it into a portable PCR machine. And this PCR machine can detect the presence of viral DNA. The problem is it's only about 95% accurate, which means if I were to test and kiss everyone in the front row, chances are one of you is going to give me a potentially deadly infection. So you can see that testing really isn't effective, and the only way for me to mitigate my risk is to change my behavior. So I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint uh, the front row there. So this is just one example of probabilistic diseases, which are a huge global burden today. If you think about heart disease, stroke, cancer, all of these are probabilistic and multifactorial, which means the idea of the wonder drug which cures a single disease with a single tablet is it's quite outdated. I think the best method we have of dealing with these probabilistic diseases is by informing the public and patients specifically about the statistics and risks that you all take in your day-to-day -day behavior. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, when you go home tonight, out of sympathy for my terrible fear of kissing, I hope you all think about the risks that you take in your own daily lives and your behavior. And above all, when it comes to kissing, I hope you make sure that he or she is worth it. <laughs> Thank you very much.